This is the workout that helped me achieve the front lever and get a bigger and stronger back and buys. So let's get to it. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so I first start off with the warm up. Some Australian pull ups here and just getting my arms stretched out. Getting my back, my biceps mostly stretched out because that's what's going to be working. The front lever. Here I'm just getting some easy front lever positions. Whatever front lever you're at, make it easy whenever you're warming up so you're not wasting all your energy. And then I just, right here, just was messing around because this was a new gym. I was on vacation, so I was just messing around, swinging around the bar. I've never had something like this before. So just having some fun. So here, I started with the hardest progression, which was a one-arm pull-up. Just tried to attempt those. I'm good at those now. I wasn't back then. Then I started my front lever workout. I started doing different attempts from front lever to back lever. Doing some back lever holds. And just going back in from front lever to back lever. Getting so many different types of front levers. Then I went to a lower bar and trained, trained some front levers. As you can see, I went from front lever to a straddle front lever. And then into a tucked advanced tuck front lever so i just kept drop setting it i kept repeating that everything you see in this workout is i did three to five times so if you see me doing a set of front levers i did that at least five times or more then i did some muscle ups for three sets just trying to increase my reps and getting stronger muscle ups help you a lot in the front lever as well and then i just decided to try it on the other side just in anything in your workout just make it as fun as you can so and then I went into negative front lever. So once I was totally destroyed in the front lever, I started doing the negative progression. A negative will lead to a positive. So you just bring your legs to the top and go as slow as you can back down for three to five sets. And then I went into a lower bar. Made it a little bit easier to get into the front lever position to do a negative. But these negatives will really help you get that front lever. And I love doing these. So then I started into my strength workout. So after I train my front levers, my back levers, and then I start doing the strength. So it's gonna be a lot of pull-ups and a lot of back and biceps. Now we're getting into some body weight curls. This can work my biceps, strengthen those things up there. All this is gonna be helping me strengthen and getting my muscles bigger for the front lever and just for as my physique. So you can see there. Then we got into some Australian pull-ups. These are just these are just easier progressions of the pull-up, so this is just something adding in my workout is going to help me with my front lever a lot as well. Building some extra muscle and strength in here as, as well. Now we get into some explosive pull-ups. I just saw this bar connected, so I decided instead of doing muscle-ups, we're going to do some one-arm explosive pull-ups. So I just explode as high as I can, touch the top of the bar, and then back down. And I did some claps here as well. Just working on my explosiveness, and explosiveness is going to equal to strength and helping your front lever. So all this workout is gonna be equaling to help my front lever and my back lever. And also a lot of these strength workouts, like pull-ups, as you can see, I'm doing commando pull-ups here. That's gonna work my back and my biceps. It's also gonna help grow them. That's how I've got my physique I have is from things like this. Now we got back into some pull-ups here. Tried to do it in the middle of this thing. It was really small, so I had to move my head weirdly, but we still worked and we still got the pull-ups done. And I just did a little hold here at the end, isometric hold. Then I got back into chin-ups and working on my biceps there, getting them stronger. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of pull-ups, chin-ups, because the, then we get into the wide, wider commando pull-ups that's going to work with some lats and some biceps there. You can really see my lats working. As you can just see, a lot of pull-ups and are going to be working here because it's going to be working your scapulas, your lats, your back, biceps, all for the front lever. Then we get into L-sits. These are really tough, but I've been trying to work the connection of the L-sit pull-ups more. Then back into wide pull-ups. Really working the lats. As you can see, front lever works lats, biceps, abs, core. It's like a full body workout almost. So that's what we're working. All the different types of muscles in our back and biceps to really get that front lever stronger. Then we do some pull-up holds. Just working on the isometric hold just like you do in a front lever. And 
then here at the end of the workout, I just worked on my one arm hanging. I really want to achieve the uh, one arm pull up. I want to get better, so I worked on my scapula shrugs, the one arm pull up. The first part of the one arm pull up is to shrug your scapula, so you can see me shrugging there, just like a one arm pull up. And then I just ended off with some wide, close, and normal pull ups, so you can see me go wide, close, and normal. This is good, it's going to work all types of muscles in your back and biceps. And then I just started doing some holds here, just working on the end. And biceps workout, and then I just started with some handstands, just messing around, trying to work on it as much stuff as I can in this workout, working on balance and things like that in the handstand. Nothing too crazy, just trying to get my handstand better. Finished. Let's go, baby. Feeling good after that workout. Let's go, baby. We got the workout finished. Got back and that buys. Oh, oh.